Good afternoon, viewers of YouTube. My name is Tyler of ChicoCrypto.com and welcome to another episode of The Famous Crypto and a Cold One. Today's guest, I thought I'd bring it back a little like my old school television show when I featured Sierra Nevada. Um, so today I'm featuring Sierra Nevada again. I didn't think when I bought the can that it's green, so it's probably not gonna work with this green screen back here, but oh well. So let's give it a taste. That's hazy. Ooh, that's real hazy. Oh. Now, for those of you who don't know about Binance, they took the centralized exchange world by storm. Seven months ago, the company didn't even exist, but now they are the largest crypto exchange with over 6 million users and volumes that beats out any other exchange who has time on their side, such as Bitrex and Bitfinex. Getting listed on Binance is good news for any crypto project. NEO and GAS were listed on Binance as some of the first tokens. Then silence regarding NEP5 tokens and the NEO ecosystem. It took some time, but six days ago, Binance dropped some hints that NEP5 tokens were coming soon. This is great news for NEO. They are the second smart contract asset to be adopted after ERC20. This is going to fatten up the liquidity of NEO and NEP5 tokens as a whole. And guess what? NEO trading pairs. Well, on Sunday, they decided to release the first NEP5 on the eager Binance traders. And guess who that token was? The first ICO on NEO, Red Pulse. Should have guessed that since Binance and Red Pulse had been in talks for months and I knew about those talks. Well, like assumed, Red Pulse rocketed off the charts. On February 11th, the day of listing on Binance, Red Pulse was trading at a low of 14 cents USD. And since listing, it has pumped to a high of 28 cents before taking a dip down to 23 cents. And as of shooting this video, was back up to 28 cents. Overall, the volume has increased significantly since the listing. Volume on February 11th was just a measly $1.73 million. Here we can see from the latest data from CoinMarketCap, volume has shot through the roof, over $40 million worth of volume. The beta for the Red Pulse platform is being launched this quarter. We are only two months away from the end, so it is coming soon. And crypto friends, passive income as crypto is such a nice thing. And with the beta release will come the ability to stake your RPX. 10% of the total supply of tokens will be minted each year. 5% of the coins will go to the stakers and 5% will go to the market experts selling and utilizing the platform. This mint happens in real time, so no waiting either. Ooh. Now for the rest of the show, I want to speculate a bit because this is crypto and speculation is fun. Let's speculate on who the next likely NEP5 tokens that will be added to Binance. Listing RPX increased the daily volume of Binance by over $40 million. I'm sure the team noticed that and have others planned. My number one contender for the next NEP5 listing is Deep Brain Chain. So there has been some weird price movements with Deep Brain Chain recently. On February 11th, the day of the Binance listing for Red Pulse, DBC was trading at a nearly 7 cent low. Since then, the price has been slowly climbing to about 12 cents at the time of shooting this video. Pretty funky price movements for not much news in the world of DBC. Is this speculators just speculating or insiders knowing something that we don't? If I had to guess, Deep Brain Chain will be added in the next two weeks. Lastly, Deep Brain Chain was listed on the January edition of Binance's community coin per month. So there is interest from Binance already. DBC is also one of the more popular coins coming from the NEO ecosystem, breaking into the top 100 for a short, short time. I'm not very certain who will be next, but I have narrowed it down to two contenders. Now, if we go in the order of when the NEP5 ICOs took place, the next contender would be Q-Link. Q-Link is all about making partnerships and making moves. Q-Link has one of the larger NEP5 communities with a Telegram group of over 8.2k members and a subreddit of over 6k members. But volume for Q-Link is low compared with other coins out there, such as Trinity, who has three times their volume. The price action from Q-Link hasn't been anything like Deep Brain Chain. That is why I'm thinking DBC is next. 
Susan Zhu is an animal, and I would bet she is working on it as we speak. The other contender you would think would be Trinity, but actually I'm thinking it may be Apex. In the tweet, CZ of Binance was replying to someone who asked him to list Apex. Now hear me out. Apex hasn't released their tokens to ICO holders yet, and they have said exchanges are coming in March. This fits into my timeline perfectly. Also, Apex has recently announced a partnership with Red Pulse, who just got listed. In my opinion, it's either going to be Q-Link or Apex towards the end of February or the beginning of March. Now, my next contender I wasn't a big fan of first. They had issues with copying pictures from Raiden's white paper. Who would it be? Of course, Trinity Network Credit. Since DevCon, I have had a change of heart regarding Trinity. Still haven't invested, but I believe the project is legit and it was an honest mistake they made. Trinity's volume is nothing to shy away from. Its volume today runs anywhere from three to five million. Comparing that with Red Pulse's before the listing, that is two to four times their volume. I know Binance looks at these things and this is the main reason Trinity has to be the one that's next. So if we look at a timeline based on my assumptions, Deep Brain Chain will be next week, February 18th. Apex will be towards March, between February 25th and March 1st. I would then put Trinity in the last week of March. What about the other contenders, Z-Pin and The Key? I have a feeling those will be added in March as well, probably late March. With many other NEP5 projects coming out, The Bridge, Peer Atlas, Four Token, Effect AI, Narrative Network, I'm sure Binance and CZ are taking hard looks. Well, viewers, what do you think? Anybody think I'm wrong? Let me know in the comments. I always like hearing your thoughts. Well, I thank you guys for watching this short video. And as always, I will be seeing you tomorrow. I'm going to try to chug this nasty beer. I don't recommend it. See you tomorrow.